How is everybody doing today? It's the Naughty Investor here coming at you with another video. I wanted to talk a bit about Ethereum today and sharding. So what is happening with Ethereum and what is sharding? What does it mean? Now, I don't want to see any comments below about pooping in your pants. I'm saying shard, da, 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 not with a T. So a D, not with a T. Sharding, like a glass shard, like a fragment of glass. That is what we are referring to. Now, sharding is essentially basically the way ethereum works before sharding there are a ton of validator nodes all these nodes are validating the ledger validate, validating the um the, the network the blockchain and essentially what sharding does is it makes it so each node instead of validating the entire thing instead of storing the entire thing it's only going to have to store a shard of it a fragment of it if you will and now what this in essence does is it dramatically improves ethereum's scalability dramatically this is coming in also with casper which casper of course the main feature of casper is that switching from proof of work to proof of stake and if you haven't caught my video explaining the ethereum casper protocol make sure you check it out below i will link it in the description now where are we right now we're on github if you don't know what github is it probably not that much use to you github is mainly for developers and while i'm not personally a developer i have flirted a bit with computer science programming in the past and i have used github here and there when analyzing code for an ico or for an actual cryptocurrency now github is great if you're looking at icos at cryptocurrencies but if you don't understand how to read code it probably isn't that useful to you but if you did want to check it out it will be linked below in the description another great place to learn about sharding is the ethereum subreddit but you know all you need to know currently sharding is just a very simply put what putting it very simply sharding is just making it so all the validating nodes instead of having to keep track of instead of keeping the entire blockchain it's only going to have to keep a fragment of it a shard of it if you will now another thing i want to talk about in this video now that we're off the topic of sharding I wanted to talk a bit about what you guys would think about if I created an online course, probably on Udemy. I have been contemplating this for a while, making an online video course and putting in articles and quizzes. I've seen a lot of people doing this and they've had a lot of success with it. Comment below, really, I really need your opinion on this, guys. Would you like to see an online course that I develop? Because I am really, really considering it, probably putting it out in a month if I do end up doing it and what do you think would be a fair price for this course if I do do it it's probably going to feature you know four hours to three to four hours of video content as well as numerous articles and a couple quizzes what do you think a fair price for that would be I've seen other similar youtubers charging upwards of 20 to 30 dollars i think that's too much i think i would be fine charging 9.99 and possibly even doing a 4.99 special for early adopters of this course what do you guys think about that would you guys purchase it would you not purchase it do you think it's a bad idea comment below i just want to hear your thoughts on it because i don't want to create it and people are like oh i'm not gonna download this right so comment below comment your thoughts thank you so much for tuning in to today's video this week has been really great for my channel and i will see you guys in the next one have a great day guys and enjoy the weekend peace out